Hi and welcome to video demonstration number 6 for Perl uh, with me, Joachim Sjöverstad from the University of Skövde. Uh, for this video demonstration we're going to go through hash functions and hashes in Perl is one of my favorites because they're so powerful and so there's so much you can do with them. So let's talk about what a hash actually is. Uh, it's a special type of variable or or array if you will, but uh, instead of just holding one value or a list of values, it actually uh, is more like a dictionary. So it holds combinations of values and that is what makes it so good. Uh, so what a hash holds is pairs, key, pairs of keys and values. Uh, so you can see it as a dictionary where on the one side you have uh, keys and on the and each and every key will point to a value. Uh, also, the keys has to be unique, so you can do lookups here, and you can store uh, the value for, let's say, a certain key. Uh, so the way you declare a hash is by uh, by doing my and then percent and the hash name. So uh, the percent is the sign for a hash, and then you declare if you want to add them directly, you declare the key and value pairs. So in this instance, I have key one holds the value value, and key two holds the value value two. I can do it with having commas all the way here and just yes, know that the first is a key and the second is a value and the third is a key and the fourth is a value and so on and so forth. So forth. But I think that it's better to do this uh, arrows so it's much more clear what is a key and what is a value. So a hash is key val holds key value pairs and each key has to be unique and can hold one value. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, so if we begin with just printing the uh, the entire hash here, I'm going to show you how it looks. I'm going to comment some stuff out. Uh, like so. So if I just run the script, what we're going to do is print the hash. And you can see how it's printed is with first a key and then a value then a key and then a value and what you see here is that even if it looks like we we add them with a key one first and key two second they're coming out with key two first and this is because the hashes are unordered so that's something that you should just know if you have if you need them to be sorted you have to have to sort them on the fly in some way because a hash is, hash is an unsorted or unorganized list uh, so that this is how we can print an entire hash but at times or more commonly you want to to print either a value or a key. So if we want to print a value, what we have to do is reference the hash as, uh, as a normal variable, uh, much like we do when we want to print an element of an array. So what we do is print dollar hash in this instance, and then within curly bracket, the name of the key that we want to print. So if we use this code, we're going to print a value for key one, which is going to be a value. So I'm just going to show you that it works as I say, because I shouldn't be trusted. And what you see here is that it will print value, right? So that's all nice, but what happens if we want to add remove values? Well, if we want to add values, what we have to do is that we have to add the key value pair on the fly. So what we do is that we take dollar hash and then brackets and a key and then a value. So in this case, we're adding the dollar, the hash, we're adding, adding the key three and we're giving it the value three. And that's it. So I'm just going to do that, and then we're going to print the hash at the very bottom here, so that you see that it works just as I say. And now you see that we have key one, key three, and key two uh, in a very unordered list. But what happens if, uh, as I said, I just want to show you how unique the keys are. So if I try to again add key one here, what's going to happen is that the value for key one gets updated. So if I'm adding a, uh, if I'm adding something that's already in existence, what happens is that since the key already exists, I already have key one because I added it here, what happens is that I will update the value for, uh, for key one instead of adding it. Uh, so next thing that I want to show you is how you delete things. So we're just going, that's, that's something we just do with the keyword delete and then we we'll reference the hash with the key that we want to delete. So if I do delete hash key one, what we should do here is delete Q1. 
key 1. So the result here would be that we should have, since we're adding key 1 and key 2 here, and then we're updating key 1, the result should be that we have a hash only containing key 2, right? So I'm going to run it, and you see here that all we have is key 2 and value 2. So this is a little bit about how to create hashes and how to add and delete and update values in them. And you also see the different ways in which I reference them when I print them. So if I want to print one single element, I go print dollar hash and a key value. If I want to print the entire hash, I just go print in the hash name like so, uh, or like so that I did the entire time. But wh what if I want to do something a little bit more... Uh, smart to it. So I'm going to change here so we have key 3 again and I'm going to remove the delete uh, and I'm going to show you how to for each over, over, over a hash. Uh, so within when, when you're working with hashes there's a keyword called keys. Uh, keys and the hash name. And what keys does is basically that it creates an array of the keys within the hash. Uh, so what happens if we do for each keys hash is that we create a for each loop that will loop over all the keys within the hash. Uh, and then, since the current object, if you will, uh, for each iteration in the for each loop will be the key that we're working on, uh, which will be contained in this temporary array, then we can do dollar underscore to print the key. And if we have to print the value for some reason, we can reference the dollar hash and then within parentheses have dollar underscore which will contain the key. So I'm just going to comment this out for a little bit and then we're going to see if this will loop the hash and print all the keys. And I'm going to remove this for clarity. And there you see key is key 1, key is key 3, key is key 4 er, or key 2. Um, and as I said uh, so what you need to know here is that dollar underscore in each iteration will hold the current key and if I go print value is dollar hash dollar underscore then I would print the value for the current key instead uh, and you see that I do key is key 1 value is value key 2 value value 2 key 3 value value 3 and I also want to show you something that I did here which is string concatenation uh, at times in Perl it's uh, it's uh, reasonable or feasible to divide uh, the print statement or the string and you can do that with separating different parts of the string uh, of the statement with a dot so you see here that I have print and then I typed uh, value is within uh, within double quotes but then I added a dot and said uh, and printed the hash value uh, without double quotes because I can do that with a variable and then another dot and then the new line sign within within uh, within uh, double quotes. Uh, so you see here that in the print statement first we print a value is which is this part then we print the actual value here which is this part and then as you can see we do a new line which is this part and you can achieve this with dividing your statement up and you do that with dots. So what we say here is print this, then a dot which means print this, and then a new dot which means print this. So that's it for this short demonstration on hashes. See you next time.